Have you set or organized a prank before? How did it work out? I mean, how harmless did it work out? The hidden dangers of pranks, why they're no laughing matter. Hi there and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and happen to enjoy this video article, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future updates. Thank you in advance for the support. And feel free to comment down below. Pranks, often seen as harmless fun, have permeated various aspects of our society, from online videos to television shows. While they may elicit laughter and entertainment in the moment, there's a darker side to pranking that often goes unnoticed. Beyond the surface level of amusement, pranks can be inherently dangerous, both psychologically and physically, for both the prankster and the unsuspecting victim. Let's delve into the reasons why pranks can be hazardous and why we should reconsider their prevalence in our culture. Psychological impact, one of the primary dangers of pranks lies in their potential to inflict psychological harm. Being the target of a prank can evoke feelings of embarrassment, humiliation, and even fear in the victim. What might seem like a harmless joke to the prankster can have lasting effects on the mental well-being of the person on the receiving end. Moreover, repeated exposure to pranks can erode trust and create an atmosphere of anxiety and paranoia, as individuals are constantly on edge, anticipating the next practical joke. Physical harm, beyond the psychological effects, pranks can also pose physical dangers. Some pranks involve elaborate setups or stunts that can result in accidents and injuries. What begins as a light-hearted attempt at humor can quickly escalate into a situation where someone gets hurt. From slipping on banana peels to falling victim to fake emergencies, the potential for physical harm in pranks should not be underestimated. Social consequences. Pranks can have far-reaching social consequences, particularly in the age of social media. While a prank might garner attention and likes online, it can also lead to public embarrassment and damage to one's reputation. In today's interconnected world, videos and photos of pranks can spread rapidly, reaching a wide audience and forever associating individuals with the act, regardless of its intent. This can have serious implications for personal and professional relationships, as well as future opportunities. Normalization of harmful behavior, perhaps one of the most insidious aspects of pranks is their potential to normalize harmful behavior. When we laugh at pranks that involve deception, humiliation, or danger, we inadvertently reinforce the idea that such actions are acceptable or entertaining. This normalization can desensitize individuals to the consequences of their actions and blur the line between what is funny and what is harmful. Lack of consent, at the core of many pranks lies a fundamental issue of consent. In most cases, the victim of a prank has not consented to participate in the joke and may not find it amusing. This lack of consent is a violation of personal boundaries and can lead to feelings of disrespect and resentment. It's essential to recognize that pranks are not a victimless form of entertainment and that the feelings and autonomy of others should be respected. In conclusion, while pranks may seem harmless on the surface, they can have far-reaching and detrimental effects on individuals and society as a whole. From psychological trauma to physical injury and social repercussions, the dangers of pranks cannot be ignored. As a society, we should reconsider our attitudes towards pranking and strive to foster a culture of respect, empathy, and kindness, rather than one that celebrates deception and cruelty in the name of humor. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future updates and feel free to comment down below.